Yes, everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. As you all know by now, it is Wednesday, 6 o'clock, and the team of the week has just dropped. So, we're going to have a quick look through it and see if it's any good. It's 85 rated, so hopefully there's some big cards in here. We'll go straight... No, nope, didn't want to do that. We'll go straight in. I'll just go straight to the goalkeeper. Without having too much of a look. And see what we've got. Right, not that one. I tour in goal, 84 rated. Again, like, like most goalkeepers every week. You're not really going to use him. It's just an 84 rated player, red pick, or whatever. You get him in somehow. So we'll just. Yeah, it's alright. Uh, right wing back. Now, this card ain't great. 83 pace, 79 defense, 83 physical. Not amazing. But it does green link the new Zakaria card because he's from Munch and Gladback. So, could be usable if you're trying to get him in your team. And. Yeah, 83 pace ain't great and 79. 83 pace is all right. 79 defense with a shadow one. It gives him 80, 93 pace and 89 defense. 83 physicals is all right for a right back. Right back ain't that strong anyway. Passing 73, 78 dribbling. Not the worst card, not the best card, but yeah, he links a new Zakari, so not bad. Marquinhos, that's massive. 89 rated. He's a beast anyway, but 83 pace, 84 physicals, 91 defense. Obviously, he links all your PSG players, League 1 players, and Brazil, if you've got any of them in your team. I would say I'd like that card my red picks, but why would you not? That's the question. Of course, you'd like that on your red picks. Just stupid saying it. But yeah, that's a nice card. That's good. But Stone, he's on fire this season. That's like his third in form, I think. Sure, he's got like 85, 6, and 7 now. I might be wrong, but I swear he's had more than one in form before this. 88 defense, 87 physical, 74 pace. The pace ain't the best, but it's not the worst. With a boost, up, with a, the right chem style on him, he could, that could be a decent card, to be fair, if you use that, that league. I don't know. Talking of that league, there you go. Fernandez next to him. Fernandez has got he's good anyway, but that's good. 85 physical, 84 dribbling, 96 pace, 81. That's a nice card. That, you, you, that's one of the better ones. That and Marquinhos so far, best two. I mean, Bastos not a bad card. One more, in, I say one more in form. He looks, he'll probably get a team of the season this year. I'd be surprised if he didn't. He's, this is third and second or third in form already. Yeah, Theo Hernandez, good card. It should be solid. I, you're probably going to see a lot of people using this card, really. But it's there, yeah, it's nice. Jude Bang, I'm 84 rated. 80 pace, 85 dribbling, 81, 8, 81 fence, 82 physicals, 80 pa pa passing. I don't know why I stuttered there. Words out. Uh, 76 shooting. That's all right. One or two more upgrades, and you'd, you'd be an all right card. He's not bad for a box box midfielder, three star, four star. Yeah, he's all right. It's not the worst card, to be fair. Right. This guy. Of all the players we've seen so far, right, in my red picks, I am begging for this guy. I've been using his 82 rated in form most of the games. He is an absolute beast. Hope, I'm hoping, I don't know if he will, but he's only born 2000, so he, I'm hoping he gets a future stars. He's, he's second in form this season, so he must be decent. I'm hoping he gets a future stars because he's an absolute, I say that like I'm going to be able to afford it. From his wife, though. He is an absolute beast of a card. 87 physicals, 82 defense, 83 dribbling, 81 passing, 78 pace. He is a monster. Now, if you've not used him, get this card on your team, try him out, and let me know what you think. I think he's absolute beast. Solid. Solid card. Now, Blinkovic, Savic, 72 pace, 82 shooting, 83 passing, 83 dribbling, 81 defense, 88 physicals. Looks like a well-rounded midfield card, to be fair. Four-star, four five-star. I've not used Milinkovic, Milinkovic, Savic this season, this year, so I don't know if he's any good. But if you've used him, let me know what you think. But that looks like a well-rounded card, but you know what FIFA's like. Cards can look good and then be absolute garbage, so I don't know. But that looks like a solid card. 88 physicals as well. That's mad, to be fair. That looks like a very good card. Verade. A lot of Serie A players this, <laughs> this week. Did no one else play? I know he prem FA Cup. Did everyone else have the Cup game? Verade. 85 pace, 89 dribbling, 86 shooting, 85 passes. So that card is actually nice as a cam. Wouldn't play him. 96, 94 agility, 86 balance. Wouldn't play him as a winger because he's only got 85 pace. But as a... Cam, very nice card. A lot of these cards are looking like, if you use a Serie A team, there's a few good cards in here. I think Bastoni's decent, he's decent, Fernandez is decent. That's a nice card. 
Andre Silva, I think he's got a ones to watch. So if you did pack that, not for an SBC yet, well done. You've got this. That's an upgrade for you. A6 rated. I mean, it's just it's good fodder, ain't it? He's not. He's 77 pace. A6 shooting, 85 dribbling is his highest stats. Other than that, nothing amazing. It's all right. It's just fodder, in my opinion. And all he has about 85 pace, 86 shooting, 84 passing, 86 dribbling. Again, a good card as a cam, I'd say. You know, the only three star, three star, but 85 balance, 85 dribbling, 82 balance, all right. 85 stam. What's his composure and stuff? 85 composure, 87 dribbling, 87 ball control. That's decent. And he's finished. 88 finishing as well. 89 attacking position. Yeah, that's a good cam. I'd use him as a cam if I was going to use him. I'd throw him in as a cam. One second. Let me have a look. A quick look actually. Berardi's finishing and stuff. 86 finishing. That's not bad. Composure 82. Yeah, that's not bad for a cam. You know what? He's not a striker. But I'd, as a cam, I think both these cards could be usable. All right, let me have a quick have a look at the bench. See if there was anything on there. you got Benitez Benny, on there. Hector Bellerin again. That's another one that's gone in. Uh, wants to watch if you've got him. You got an upgrade. Well done. Uh, Ajork. And that looks like it. To be honest, it's not the best team. There's a, I mean, that's who many is my... I'd love to get him. I'd love to get Marquinhos. Theo Hernandez wouldn't be bad. I'd say I'd love to... He'd be decent to get as well. I'd say he wouldn't be bad. He'd be good. He's French. He links lots of people. But yeah, other than probably sure many with Marquinhos and Theo Hernandez, I wouldn't be. It's not that great. The team, to be fair, is a bit of a joke. Sorry about it. I don't do that again. Any other content today? While we are here, I think there's a showdown. I'm right. There is a showdown. Luis Morial and Matteo Darmian. We'll have a look at Darmian first. Let's have a look at what they're costing. They're both the same, ain't they, usually? 82, 82 and 86. Darmian, right back, 91 pace, 82 dribbling, 86 defence, 84 physicals, 80 pace, 80 passing. So if you use a Serie A team, I mean, whether he gets an upgrade or not, that's a very good right back. I mean, who else is in that league? Dumfries and Quadrado. I can't think of any more that are that good right backs. And I don't know if Dumfries has had any informs. I know Quadrado's got 186, I think. That's a nice card, to be fair. If you use this league. And then Morial, again, Serie A, obviously. It's four star, four star. 92 pace, 91 dribbling, 87 shooting, 81 passing, 90 agility, 93 balance. Composure is 87. Finishing is 88. Attacking position is 90. Again, very good card if you use that league. If you are in the Serie use the Serie A team. Right, that's it for today's video. Just had a quick look at the Team of the Week, as we do every Wednesday. There's not obviously much content other than the Team of the Week on a Wednesday. So, we're going to leave it there. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.